This is the true story. Of seven strangers. Not if you count those. Picked to live in a castle. And have their lives taped. And find out what happens. We'll stop being polite. Right. And start getting real. The, the real, real world, Denmark! This is real world Denmark. This season brings a whole new dynamic to the table. A Danish prince, Hamlet. Yo, my name's Hamlet. I'm a prince. I'm from Denmark. Like, I'm honestly the man. Like, some people say I'm angsty. Some people say I'm ungrateful. Fuck that shit. I hate my mom. I hate my uncle. He's a pussy ass bitch, yo. Like, I can't stand that dude. Like, I'm a gangster. I have a different woman every five minutes. Like, every flavor of the jelly beans. Like, all the time, dude. All the time. Um, like,. I don't know, my dad died and like no one cares. Sometimes I see ghosts and shit. I'm just a little bit fucked up, but like that's all good, that's all good. Um, I hear voices that tell me to kill my uncle, and you know what? Like I just follow him because that's for real. But you know what? I don't need medication. I self medicate with women and liquor. That's how I do it, yo. And uh, why should I be on the real world? Because I'm a royal gangster. He's out of it, mother. Queen Gertrude. I try to keep a low profile. I'm a mysterious woman, all right. What happened to my husband? That was eons ago. I haven't a clue or a care. Besides, Uncle Claude has a nicer bod. <laughs> and I do miss the late Hamlet's ticklish ears at night. I'd love to be on the real world. I'm confident that no one will uncover my secrets. They'll try, but I'm mysterious. I'm an enigma that can't be solved. An airy girl straight from the blue collar, Ophelia. Hi there, I'm Ophelia and I'm from England. And I would just love to be on the real world. Oh my god, I just want to like raise my status, make some connections and whatnot, because I heard there's gonna be some Danish prince. Oh, I really like singing and fields and picking flowers. Oh, I could just run around like crazy. <laughs> And so my friends think I'm sort of loony, so I think I could add like a crazy dynamic to the house. You know, like, totally out there. Anyways, you should really pick me for the show, because I am ready to get real. Her father, Polonius. Oh my god, I just love this show so much. I love it so much that I just want to be involved in all the dramas. I'll make the most out of this experience, guaranteed. Uh, please pick me. Um, I want to be part of something, you know? A part of everything, really. Just count me in, seriously. I'll be like, I'll be like a spy. I'll be, I'll be Gossip Girl. I love Gossip Girl. And bunnies and claws and, and my daughter Ophelia. A gal pal straight from the past, Rosie Gildenstern. Hi, so my name's Rosie Gildenstern and I'm really excited for this opportunity. I'm sick of being the fly on the wall. I'm always like the flower on the wallpaper and I really just need a big opportunity to get me out there. Um, so yeah, I'm really great for this show. I've got a body for it, I think. Um, and yeah, I did do it. August 06th, I got my boobs done. This one's Rosie. This one's Goldenstern. Try to forget that. What? And a bunch of players. This is real world Denmark. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Philly, my darling, what's the matter? Oh my god, I am so freaked out right now. In the name of all that is holy, what? I was just texting in my bedroom, minding my own business. Hamlet walked in all sloppy, shirt unbuttoned. His hair disheveled and pants falling down. Spider-Man boxers show him shamelessly. And he was literally as pale as my ass in winter. But his eyes, they were wide and possessed like a demon. And his speech horrible, terrifying. What did he do to you? Um, he grabbed my wrist and held them together. I can feel the bruises forming now. And he pressed his body against me so I could not escape and started stroking my face and body. He started shaking me like an infant. And he started shaking too. He was crazed, I tell you. He started shrieking like a little girl and wandered out like a zombie, leaving my body to collapse on the floor. He stared at me with an evil stink eye like this. Okay, well first of all, can you stop talk can you stop texting and just talk to me? And I am just so done with his drama. Have you talked to him since? Of course not. I told you, I was pushing off his creepy advances. I've been ignoring him since. Shush shush. Heather. You're just so precious. He couldn't help me. He couldn't help me crazy. Uh, with a broken heart. <laughs> Let's go take this up. Uh, Cloudy dirty. Yeah, good, good call. Something like that.